हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल most electronic devices are powered by batteries nowadays it's only logical that we get an understanding about these energy storage technologies have you ever thought about what parameters are essential and have higher priority for each battery today's video is about battery parameters battery capacity cycle life energy density specific energy c rate so let's get started battery capacity is defined as the total amount of electricity generated by electrochemical reactions in the battery and is determined by the mass of active material contained in the battery the unit for measuring battery capacity is ampere hour next is the cycle life Battery cycle life is the number of full charge and discharge cycles a battery can achieve before its capacity level drops below 80%, which is considered a typical end of life for most applications. This is around the time when consumers may begin to experience a difference in their battery performance. With that said, the better the cycle life, the better the consumer experience. If you like this video make sure to subscribe for more. The next battery parameter is energy density. Energy density is the amount of energy a battery contains relative to its size known as volumetric energy density. Energy density is typically measured in watt hours per liter. Then what is specific energy? Specific energy is the amount of energy a battery contains relative to its weight known as gravimetric energy density. It is typically measured in watt hours per kilogram. But why does battery energy density matter? Whether you are interested in powering the world's tiniest earbuds or an electric vehicle, every battery application can benefit from smaller, lighter batteries. with greater energy density big batteries get smaller and smaller a critical factor drivers consider when looking at electric vehicles is how quickly they can be charged c rate is one such factor the c rate is a unit used to measure the speed at which a battery is fully charged or discharged for example Charging at a C rate of 1 C means that the battery is charged from 0 to 100% in 1 hour. A C rate higher than 1 C means a faster charge. For example, a 3 C rate is 3 times faster, so a full charge in 20 minutes. Likewise, a low C rate means a slower charge. C by 5 would be 5 times slower than 1 C, amounting to a 5 hour charge. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to Alvis. Also press bell icon to get notified.